Welcome back to another video. In my video fashion, we're back with another dark episode, except it's like eight o'clock right now, it just turned dark. We're coming back with a off topic video, but something that we've done before, buying the cheapest <laughs> quad that I can find. I'm with Frederico. We're in the Dodge Ram and we're on a little adventure right now, trying to buy a Yamaha YFZ 450, no title, apparently needs a battery, low on fuel, and flat tires. Should be a normal quad, everything should be up to par, I guess. I guess we're gonna find out and we'll see what happens, but cheapest quad, it was posted for 2,500 bucks. Obviously, it does not look pretty. It needs a few things maintenance wise and it needs a few cosmetics, but I mean, you can't really go wrong with a sub 2000 quad. I offered him 1500 on Marketplace. So let's go ahead and see what we get into and what kind of quad we're looking at. Base clutch YZF 450. Hey, we're back. We got the quad in our back seat. <laughs> <laughs> we got the quad and the truck. It's going to be hard to see. It's a little dark. Hey. Oh, wait, hold on. I got you. I got you. Oh, no, you oh shoot. YFZ 450 race clutch, no title. It started right up with a jump, basically immediately. Apparently it has a race clutch, but I know absolutely nothing about that. Saying that it's a little tricky in first, but other than that, it should be completely fine. It started up right away immediately and ran perfectly. Uh, he did rev it all the way to the moon. Cold start, literally turn it on, rev that thing all the way up. But the YMs be crazy. <laughs> all right, bro. Anyway, a thousand dollars flat. I gave him ten hundred dollar bills from twenty five to fifteen to a thousand. He's lucky I didn't offer him freaking five hundred. Uh, I want this basically to beat on and learn how to actually ride and get comfortable. I don't want to get on a seven hundred and just expect to thrash or know how to really ride comfortably. So I want a little bit of a practice bike, something I don't care if it gets really messed up or are basically totaled at this point but let's get it home and check it out a little more and then expect hopefully to see another video on a 700 coming very soon we got this hunker back home let's go ahead and get a quick walk around and overview of everything that i picked up on so far i'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that i'm still missing and i still don't know is problematic or maybe something is damaged or whatever the case is i'm very new to especially these so First things off the bat, yes, it is definitely worn and definitely looks abused. It's a 2005, um, unfortunately no title or anything like that. This was $1,000 and it started right up when we jump started it. I went ahead and ordered, already got a battery, put it in, but the headlights don't come on so I'm not sure if the battery is even going to be valid or working. This is the old one that's right over here. It was a pretty massive battery that was pretty heavy and the one I replaced was a much smaller one but it said it was the direct fitment and the actual one that this needs. I don't know maybe if the battery isn't the right size or maybe if the bolts, the bolts for that one were much larger and they fit around the rings perfectly and snugged but the actual bolts that was on the quad before, I don't know if it's factory or what but they, these rings are much larger and the bolt could fit through. I think these are these are the bolts right here. Um, the one that came with the new battery are much smaller and they're not the tightest fit on the ring. They're snug and they connect, but I guess we'll go ahead and find out. Anyway, besides all that, looking at the quad right away, the issues that are 100% known is that it did need a starter. The tires in the rear are completely flat on this side. And if you come over here, um, completely de-beaded and this rim looks absolutely mangled. So we're gonna have to home beat that wheel and get that aired up. Hopefully that actually holds air. I'm not sure with this rim. I don't know if it will hold air. I don't know if it'll give us a problem or if maybe that's why it de-beaded because it wasn't sealing and this rim was dented or possibly they hit something, dented it and de-beaded it. So that's a possibility. But other than that, I don't, I'm not even sure what's 100% aftermarket on these. I'm assuming that this crash bar up here, I'm assuming that's aftermarket. Uh, one thing I don't know, 
are these OEM factory handlebars or are these actual aftermarket pro tapers? Have this little thing right here. Let me know in the comments down below. I would be interested to learn and figure that out. Plastics aren't in the best condition, but they aren't actually terrible. You can see there are some normal scuffs and some other things, um, but it's very typical. It's literally 20 years old now. I wouldn't really expect too much. I'm probably going to end up, there's two things I want to do. There's either I want to get all new plastics for this because I personally don't like this style. I think of course, like the 2010s to 2013s, those look absolutely amazing. They look aggressive. Those look amazing to me. Um, this style, it looks like half of the plastics are literally missing to me. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, let me know down below. This is a 2005. Let me know if you guys have the information, what plastics will fit on this. I would try to look it up, but it was like double ended answers. Can I upgrade to newer plastics? Or um, is there just the other plastic style that the fenders are more actually out and go out, take up more space? Those look sick to me. This looks like it's missing half the quad. So let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are on that. Um, this, this quad is extremely ugly to me. And that's why I have little to no intention on keeping this one. Um, but hey, if we can put some new plastics on it and it changes my mind, let's go ahead and do that. So the front tires look to be in absolutely perfect condition. Not sure what these are. Oh, bore, <laughs> whatever that is. Um, the rears, again, are in great condition, but it just de-beaded on the one. This one hopefully is just a little low. Obviously, looking at this, this seat, I don't know who did this or what happened, but this is terrible. This parking brake actually holds the quad. So we're good in that department. It's kind of annoying when those don't work, but that holds the quad. Other than that, it has some very typical wear. It looks like there's some paint issues, but the frame actually looks to be in pretty decent condition. The A-arms look good. The front wheels have a little scuffing, but they don't look crazy. The motor, everything looks surprisingly clean. Um, I don't see really any leak marks. It looked like there was some paint work or something right here. Looks like there was some welding actually, so I might have to take back that statement. Um, but it's just for this rear little uh, kick plate or whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what you guys actually call it. Um, looks like that maybe broke off. Other than that, I don't think anything else was really broken in that department. Headlights are here. They work, they function, they turn on. Over here on this side, um, radiator has a couple nicks in it, but nothing crazy. They claim to have recently changed the oil and it doesn't have that much on here. Other than that, see, I don't really see too much. It looks, you know, typical worn quad. Petcock is up here, doesn't seem to be leaking. Please cross my fingers, I can't stand when those leak. These are actually in good condition. Um, let's take a head and look at the rear. Chain looks brand new, brand new rusted. Got. This is okay. Yeah, this is the other problem. This battery box is about to fall out, and this is the battery. So that 100% needs to be addressed. Um, looks a little wet over here. Looks very wet over here. So we might have um, a coolant or antifreeze leak. So let me know, guys. Can we replace this battery box? Is this something that is just a plastic piece and we can replace? Exhaust. This should be factory. There's no dings, there's no anything missing. Brake, it looks good to be in good condition. I believe they work perfectly fine. Arm is a little dirty, spring's a little dirty. But other than that, guys, I really don't see much other than that. There's a couple little things like up here. I don't know how that really got burnt. Um, taking the seat off, it's just not too dirty under here, surprisingly. But probably been wiped down a few times. This seat does not go into place. Hopefully it's just a seat. We're gonna need a seat for sure. We're gonna need to address that battery box. We're gonna need to address the rear wheels. And then I'm gonna have to check. I literally haven't even checked if the battery works. I haven't wanted to put um, gas and turn the gasoline or the petcock on. I hate when these things stink up the whole garage, goes into the house. So I've been waiting. Purposely I've been a little busy. So we'll go ahead and try that today. 
see if we can get this thing started up. Um, as far as mechanical wise, I only heard this thing run for a few moments and that was really it. So one thing that I didn't know, but until we got there, this has um, a race clutch in it apparently. I don't know which one. I don't know any of the details. He said a family friend that was a, an ATV mechanic came over. He had a good shop. I don't know what the deal is. He said he installed a race clutch. So this, cr this clutch lever is very firm and hard to pull. So that's gonna be a little interesting. I haven't ridden in literally like forever. And the last time I rode, I had a 250 and a 660. I rode those around a little bit, but I haven't really had any experience out on the West Coast riding. Um, I have experience on East Coast riding, but not on the West Coast. And it's been probably like 10 years since I actually was riding. It's gonna be a little interesting. This will most likely end up being a little flip bike or something that I could get a little comfortable on. Probably not to be honest if you guys see this today and never see it again I do apologize, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles But I don't really know what else to see I guess we're gonna go ahead and start it up or try to start it up and let's see if this thing even runs Went ahead and flipped the bike around open up the garage to get some more breathable air in here I turned the reserve on this thing is extremely stupid low on fuel um, We had the key in the on position and as you can see We got a brake light um, so it should in theory start up. I don't know it has really no gas. I guess let's see There just like that Sounds a little rough, but it's literally running on fumes I don't want to let it run too long. This thing's gonna stink up the entire garage and my house. But just like that, this thing started up immediately. Damn. Okay. We might have a little bit better quad on our hands than I thought we did. Let's go ahead and turn this off. That surprised me. I was surprised the guy that's selling me. It ended up being like a like a teenager, but a younger kid. And he really didn't know too much, but knew what he was talking about a little. I guess it was his bike, but he wasn't the one that bought it, worked on it, or did anything to it. I wouldn't really assume so, being probably like 12 or 13 years old. Um, but it was super sketchy. He was telling me, oh, it's not going to run. It has no gas. I was like, okay, I'll bring some gas. Oh, it's not going to run. The battery's dead. I was like, okay, we'll jump it. Oh, but the tires are stupid flat. You can't ride it. can't do nothing. Oh, uh, it's probably not going to start. He was trying to convince me that it wasn't going to start. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'll pull up. I'll look at it. Um, and yeah, I guess we have it here. So, not too sure what we're going to get done today. I got a bunch of stuff to do today. And I got to go to work tomorrow. So, this is the big reveal. I guess if it's even a big reveal. This is the small review of my Hunker Quad that is now on the channel. Let me know about the plastics because this thing is extremely ugly with them plastics. Um, maybe in this episode, maybe not, probably not. We're gonna go ahead and wash this thing, try to bead that wheel, air up the tires, probably put some gas in this, and then attempt a first ride and see how it is. Probably not today. I'm extremely tired and I got some stuff to do, but we're gonna come back and we're gonna get this thing right. I know this isn't an ATV or a quad channel, but if you guys are interested in this, I absolutely love quads and ATVs and some off-road things. So if you guys are interested in this, please let me know and comment down below. I would actually love to be in on some of this content and be doing some stuff with this. And if you guys support it, it'll give me that much more motivation to actually do this and we can make something real out of this. But if this is something you guys aren't interested in, let me know, we'll just stick to the the cheap, dirty M5 content, or maybe you guys are cross-platform, maybe you guys are coming here for a quad and you're interested for some M5 content, let me know. I do all Beamer stuff. That's really what we're here for. I've done like one singular ATV video in the past and that was for like that cheap 660. And I rode it around like two, three times around the neighborhood and then sold it. So if you guys are interested in this, 
let me know. I would absolutely love to do this content for you. And I would love to be in this kind of place getting supported by you guys. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here for this one. Next video, we'll come in, clean it up, get this thing running, riding, and uh, take it for a test drive. So that'll be the next video. But until then, we have more content coming with the M5. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. If you guys are interested in F80 content, let me know. And I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about my questions. Let me know about the content-wise if you want this. And stay tuned because we have much more planned. Come back in a day or two because we have, damn, more content.